Hi guys, my name is Ryan, the Frugal Analyst, and recently I just changed my phone plan from postpaid to prepaid, and I was really surprised how much money I can save with prepaid. So in this video, I'll share with you guys my analysis on how to choose the best phone plan deal uh, for you or and your family uh, by explaining to you the three types of carrier, postpaid, prepaid, and VNO, uh, I'll also walk you through my spreadsheet where I jot down all the plan details and cost per line. Uh, I'll walk you through a real example if you're getting postpaid with a deal versus prepaid. Uh, and finally, I'll share with you my final choice. So if you're interested to save some money, uh, keep watching. So starting with the three types of cell phone plan, you have postpaid, prepaid, and NVNO. So for postpaid, this is your typical go into the store, Verizon, AT&T, T-Mobile, Sprint, and you ask them, hey, what's the deal on the newest phone? Usually they try to sell you on a postpaid plan, and this is really their marketing engine. They'll give you deals on the newest phones, like the Samsung S10, and they'll say that, oh, uh, AT&T, Verizon, they both have buy one, get one free. And the more lines you have, uh, the more discount you get. And postpaid actually have the highest network priority. So if you're in a crowded uh, space, such as a concert and everybody's trying to, to call or something, uh, postpaid will have priority, but it is the most expensive monthly cost. Uh, the next segment is prepaid. So Verizon, AT&T, T-Mobile, all these same phone company has a prepaid option. They usually don't really tell you about it until you ask. And this is all about uh, BYOD, which is you have to bring your own device. There is little to no deals at all. Uh, same with postpaid, more lines, more discount. Uh, and usually there's no credit check. You just pay up front for the month. Uh, it is uh, prioritized after postpaid and usually it has a cheaper monthly cost. Uh, the third category is the prepaid NVNO. It's also prepaid, but these are basically virtual carriers that leverages uh, the big uh, cell phone company. And uh, these companies are like Mint, Red Pocket, uh, Boost Mobile. Uh, Google Fi, similar to prepaid, uh, but they are not owned by uh, the big carrier, but they do leverage the big carrier's network. So usually you get a little bit less support and it's usually a pretty cheap monthly cost as well. Now that you know the three types of cell phone carrier, uh, prepaid, postpaid, uh, and VNO, uh, let's go through my spreadsheet where I jot down all the carriers plan and their cost per line. So you can download my spreadsheet at the bottom of this video and I'll explain to you uh, how to read it. So in this spreadsheet, if you open it up, uh, here you can see that I mapped out uh, postpaid, prepaid, and NVNO. And I basically jot down, hey, this is the carrier, this is the plan, and the description, how much data you get, and what is the cost per line with auto pay and paperless billing. So the more lines you have, uh, the cheaper it it is per line. Uh, if you basically glance at the difference between postpaid and prepaid for the same large carriers, you can see that uh, prepaid is much cheaper than postpaid. But postpaid do give you uh, those deals like the buy one get one free or uh, buy one get a bunch of service credits. Uh, if you look at NVNO, usually those pricing are just for one line and they're usually meant for just uh, if you're on a single plan and uh, let's say you don't need any support, uh, you're not really traveling overseas, uh, NVNO would be good for that. Now from this spreadsheet, you can basically do some basic math. If uh, you already have your own phone, then hey, prepaid looks like a better option than postpaid. But uh, of course, every two years or so, uh, a lot of us want to get the new phone. So how does the pricing compare when you actually want a new phone for postpaid versus prepaid? So I have this example. So this is kind of like my situation, which is I need two lines. 
I probably use around five to eight gigabyte of data per line. So let's just call it 10 gigabyte data per month per line. And let's just look at Verizon, for example. So Verizon has the postpaid plan. And if I need 10 gigs of data per month, then uh, for postpaid is basically the cheapest one is their Go Unlimited. It costs $65 per month times two. And that gives me $130 per month for two lines. Now for postpaid, they have this thing called a surcharge and surcharge, I think it's around $1.50 per line. So times two becomes $3 per month. Funny thing is there's no surcharge for prepaid. So if you add up the go unlimited costs plus the surcharge for 24 months, you basically get charge three thousand two hundred dollars uh, around that ballpark now they do have a deal if you're getting the newest phone the samsung s10 right now their deal is hey buy one get 750 dollars in service credit so it's kind of like a buy one get one free so if you minus the three thousand two hundred minus 750 you get around two thousand four hundred dollars total cost in 24 months and this is for Go Unlimited. Now, uh, this is basing on my need of, let's say in this example, 10 gigabytes data per month. Now I can't use the shared data plan because the biggest one they have is nine gigabyte for both lines and uh, that won't make the cut of 10 gigabyte per line. Now if you go to prepaid on the right side for Verizon, they have a deal where it's 15 gigabyte per line would cost $76 per month for two lines. And your 12 month cost is $1,824. If you just need 10 gigabytes of data per month and you're getting 15, so you have a pretty nice buffer on your data cap, going for prepaid and just buying your own phone, forget the 750 service credits, you're actually paying a lot less than the postpaid plan. Now, the prepaid also has an unlimited plan, which ends up with 2,600 for 24 months. That is slightly more expensive than the Go Unlimited. So between the prepaid of 15 gigabyte per line plan for two people compared to postpaid, you're basically already saving over $600. So it's much cheaper with prepaid. So now let's move on to uh, an example where let's stick with Verizon and let's say you need four lines and you're still using 10 gigabyte of data per month. So for postpaid, doing the same math, I get to a total of close to $4,000 for 24 months. But if you get four Samsung S10 phone with the $750 BOGO credit times two, you get $1,500 off, your total cost is around 2,500. Now, if you look at the prepaid, your total cost is a lot more expensive in prepaid. So it seems like postpaid is a much better deal when you need four lines in this example. Now, of course, uh, your situation is going to, going to be different. Sometimes you don't need the unlimited data. Sometimes you need less than 10 gigabytes of data. Sometimes you need more. What I'm really trying to say here is make sure you compare the prices of the prepaid option. Because usually when you go to a store, they don't really tell you about prepaid. Or they might downplay prepaid as a plan that's not really for you. You know, it's kind of like no credit check. It's uh, initially, I used to think prepaid, it's like for low income but apparently it's not, it's actually a competitive deal. So overall, you know, when I look at the three categories, my conclusion is, look, if you wanna go with postpaid, your typical plan, then it's really good if you have four plus users and if they're all using a new phone or still having that amortization of the service credits. If you're in prepaid, it's really good for one to three users and users without a new phone. Uh, for prepaid and VNO, I think it's really good for single line. Now for multiple lines, I would just stick with the big carrier prepaid because there is a lot less support for NVNO and I personally don't want to risk it if I travel overseas or if I need help with my phone, I'd rather have a company that can uh, help me answer my questions. So that's kind of like my analysis on 
postpaid, prepaid, and NVNO. And all of this apply, like I showed example for Verizon, but for AT&T, you could do the same math and really calculate based on your situation, which one will really give you a better deal. Now, my final choice for my situation personally, uh, basically having two users, and we use probably around five to eight gigabyte of data per line. Uh, my final choice is AT&T prepaid, and they have this plan, the eight gigabyte plan, uh, for two lines is gonna be $70 per month, uh, I got my first bill, uh, it's gonna be $71 per month after tax and fees actually, so that's really cheap. And with addition of $50 rebate for new customer after three months. So uh, given uh, Verizon, AT&T, I feel like AT&T gives me the best dollar value. Now I do think that Verizon reception is better. I used to have a phone plan, uh, postpaid plan with Verizon and I know they're a little bit better but look I'm interested in paying less per month so I went with AT&T prepaid 8 gigabytes per line. Now if you guys are interested in switching plans uh, I have a side tip for you. Always go to a corporate store not an authorized reseller. I actually checked out the Verizon reseller and they told me it was around $60 for SIM and uh, a setup fee. I'm like, why is it so expensive? But when I go to a corporate store, they actually have no setup fees. Same with AT&T. Uh, when I went to change my plan in an AT&T corporate store, there's no fee for setup or SIM fee. It's just basically what I was paying and it was like plus $1 for taxes and fees. So that, that's great. There's no surcharge like what you see in postpaid. And here are some ways that you can tell if the actual store is an authorized reseller or not. You basically go to, let's say AT&T, you go to their website, uh, check their store locator, and if it's an authorized reseller, it will say uh, in the website. Also for Verizon, you could check out the, uh, their nearby store map and you can tell if it's an authorized reseller or a corporate store always go to a corporate store so that's about it for my video i hope this helps you uh, decide on what your new phone plan would be uh, if this video helps you please comment below i like to hear uh, if you save any money from this video so thanks so much for watching hit the subscribe button for more frugal videos i'll see you next time